So now we want to go through the full shelf and we've covered a lot of things already so I'll just mention them as I go along and I'll refer you backwards. First of all we've got this move nearest picked key tool and it's a pretty well I don't know how useful this is. If you click it on a selected curve now we can middle click and just adjust points so it's just a really quick way of adjusting points there. Now that goes as opposed to if we hit Q that will get out of that tool so Q is this guy here we'll always drop these tools here we can select once and then hit move. So it's just a different way, like you have to do two clicks instead of potentially one. But this is quite annoying because if you've got a lot of things and you wanted to move those across, it's only gonna move the one that's closest to your mouse. So it, it sort of disables a lot of the functionality. You can double click on it and you can move that around, take selected only off. That just means that we can now middle click and sort of click things. So if you're doing a lot of clicking, like lots and lots, and you need to do lots of adjusting, maybe that's useful. But otherwise I'm gonna be leaving that off a lot of the time. So the next one here is what we've already covered and that is the insert key tool. Just middle click drag along on selected curves and you will insert keys without changing the curve at all. So that one's really handy. We've got the lattice. The lattice tool is really cool. For doing that you can double click on it and add more or less things. It's really good for things like motion capture editing and stuff like that. Next is of course is our region tool and that's really easy. Nice one that we can scale different areas without affecting either side. And we've got the retime tool. So we click on that and we can double click in different areas. And now we can retime between them. And of course, anything beyond the last one, if we click that, it will move it all. So that's a really sort of cool version. These two have different functions, but this one's really nice for a lot of stuff.